Hi, strangers. Are you guys ready? Because I'm terrified. I am completely naked. And I don't like it. So, are you ready to see the scariest thing you're going to see this Halloween? I hope you are, because I'm not. <gasps> yes. I have no... Yes, no makeup. Because you guys wanted a makeup tutorial. So, I'm here to show you how I make this into this. So I've got two cameras set up so you can see this in its full gruesome, uh, absolutely gruesome, naked, fresh face. So, yes, this is my nude face and we're just going to do a normal gothic makeup today and yes yeah, so i'm so sorry if this has scared you but let's get on with it i'm going to start with my trick of rolling up my long sleeves when you're wearing long sleeves like this and your parent will have to do lots of chores around the home i find it best to grab it at the end give it three or four twists and then tuck it in that way we're not going to get any foundation or any um and you can roll it up to like this inside that way we get no foundation on our beautiful on our beautiful black velvet because we don't want that because it's a nightmare to get off right as you can see i have very hooded eyes now relax them this one always comes down a lot further than the other one because I'm some kind of tormented, deformed creature. Um, but yes, I'm getting older, so of course gravity is pulling everything down. So let's start with some... Oh, I forgot my primer a second. I don't always start with primer, but I use this. Sorry about it looking so gross, but my drawer needs sorting out where I keep my makeup. But yes, I use this. Um, yeah, and I just squidge a little bit of that on. Oh, so nice. Yeah, the, the weather's changing, so before my face was very greasy. And now it's the opposite all of a sudden, and it's very dry, so this feels amazing. Let's get it all over there. I use my hands for a lot of things I do in my makeup. So you just see me just bunging it on with my hands because that's what I do. Right. I always first um I always first start with foundation. So I normally just blob it on. So but on the worst areas first and then I always build up like I never know what to do first when it comes to concealer and foundation but I think either way you do it it's absolutely fine I look like a Frankenstein or something or maybe a zombie and then I just rub that all in So yes, um, I have been very shy about doing this kind of thing on camera because I just can't, I, I won't even leave the house without makeup. It's um, become one of them things I just do. I just, I'm terrified of just, everyone says I look so ill and I look sick. I think because they're just used to seeing me in makeup continuously because I wear makeup every day. I wake up and do the same routine. Of course, change it up some days, but it's just one of the things that I have done for years and years now. So now I'm going to... Oh, I didn't tell you what. Here's the concealer I use. 
I'm not going to try and say the names of them because I'm dyslexic and it is hard work. And then I'm going to use some nice matte um, lasting perfection. Because I've got perfection. And then I'm going to just put that on where I just need a top up. I, I never worry about fallout with makeup. I've done it for so long. I make sure that the brushes don't have any loose any loose powder on whatsoever so now I look a bit like a clown that's fine that's the look we're going for nice and pale mm. oh I'm so looking forward to Halloween still don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween but okay taking my mirror quickly Make sure it's all up and around my nose rings and around my piercings because when you've got piercings it's really hard to get in around them okay so that is my foundation done now i'm going to wipe my hands this is a trick guys because sorry it's a bit less like that because if you don't wipe your hands now, it gets it all over the place. And trust me, I normally forget to wipe my hands. And then I touch my top or my trousers and then it's, it's a disaster. Right, today I thought we could do makeup um, bat related. Because you know I love bats. It's freaking bats. And everyone loves bats, so I do bats quite a lot because they're just cool. So I have got some accessories. I have got my little wood um, bat earring that I think I got of Timu. I'll put that in. I got that. And I've got my bat necklace and also. I thought a bone would be cool as well, so I've got my bone earring also. I'm going to pop that in. If I can, because it's hard to get in so many. Or oh, I might just pop it through here. Okay. So I've got a bone in a bat today. Also, I thought I'd wear my ring, because why not? A nice bat ring. There we go. So I've got two bats in here now. I still haven't got around to doing my nails. So I will do that at some point. Right. There you go. You can see the whole bottle that I did the other day with the stickers. I love it. Right, let's get to work. Next, I always do my eyeliner and I use a very soft um, pencil. I'm going to have to look in the mirror for this, so um, I'm sorry. hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just literally going um, right up inside under the waterline, all the way across. Um, you're not meant to pull on your eye when you do this, but I always find because I've got such hooded eyes, it does give me a nice line. I'm, not, I'm probably going to look a wreck when I'm extremely old, but at this point, I don't care. So... Yeah, so I pull and then just slowly go up inside because I hate the inside of the waterline being white. And then you can come right down to the corner and um, if you've got it pulled slightly you can get a nice, a nice tip to your corner as well. I normally come out a little bit thicker at the end here. For the other side. So I'm just going to repeat that on the other on the other side there.
Okay, now that's done, I like to um, go under in. I like to go under in my waterline um, at the bottoms. This stuff's really nice and soft, so you can just glide across very nicely. So I've messed up a bit here, so I'm just going to use my finger gently and wipe upwards. And then you don't have to worry about um, applying all your makeup again. Because makeup's expensive. You guys think makeup's expensive? Now I look very strange. Very odd. Right, let's do some. I like to then move on to eyeshadow. Today we use my um, my sexy palette here by Jodie Beauty. No, I'm saying it right. Um, yes, but I love this palette. Let's go. Um, I don't know. It's got lots of colours. Let's have a look. So you can see. Um, as you can see, what I've used the most. So I have used Dusk, which is a really nice orange. And I like to use... Um, the grey tones a lot and the browns so today because we're going for like a vampire so look, there's lots of purple and things but i've hardly used them purple makes it look like i've punched myself in the eye for some reason i don't know why um but yes yeah, so i'm going to use so i think i'm going to use um this one here and also no just this one here today i think so let's go ahead and apply that I normally use um, my brushes, they're normally just cheap brushes, um, so yeah I just use like a medium fluffy brush and then I'll pick up some of that colour, blow it off, get some more. and then I start, because I've got quite hooded eyes, I normally like open my eyes like, like this and then I um, I'll go round in a circle kind of shape like this and then I'll just keep going higher and higher until the height I want it which changes daily for this kind of thing so right up under here I've got some more colour I think again right under here again and then round in a half moon shape I do like to come right down to here and then we'll just keep buffing it out so we get no harsh um, lines here. As you can see it gives it a bit of shadow. I don't like putting too much heavy makeup actually on my lids unless I'm doing very thick liner. I think that's probably because of my um, I've got quite a big hooded eye, so I try and keep it as, um, sorry about the message. Yeah, I just try and keep it as basic as I can on my eyelid. This bit takes time because I just want it nicely, evenly spread out. Okay. I think the hardest thing that's going to be to show you is my eyebrows. Because drawing on eyebrows is harder than you think. Right. Next, I normally go in with a winged liner. Which I just brought a new one. I think it's downstairs still. But yes, I use this. I use this for my eyebrows. And I use it to do my wings and my drawing. So I get through a lot of this. Probably about... Um, two a month. This one's really dried out. Right, so I normally start, pull my eyes slightly again, then go right up. I think how to do this without looking in the mirror. Now I'll go right from, let's start in the middle because I can't. Okay. And then I just sweep it out like this. Oh. 
No, that didn't work. Right, this, this is what happens when you make a mistake like this. You can either make it into something else, or you can wipe it up. So very gently, I'm just going to wipe that off there. It's fine, no need to panic. Okay. Right, I'm going to do the line first. Okay. Right, let me draw the line and then I'll show you. Okay, so I draw my lines like this. For some reason they're not looking very even. But not always. That's what I love about makeup. You can, like, even if you make a mistake, you can make it still look cool somehow. So, I want big wings to do it, I think. So, we're up. There we go. And then I come along and, and join these all up now. This is me trying to hide my hoods now, which is a nightmare. I feel so sorry if you have hoods. It's a nightmare trying to hide them hoods sometimes. There we go. As you can see that I've got a bit of light coming in, it's hard to see. But yeah, I've kind of like um, joined them up like this. And then I normally come in with another one and colour it in. So these are brilliant as well they're nice and thick i love using these for dots so let's color them in And then you can see I have a bit of a gap, so what I do is then, as I look up slightly and then try and flatten up this line here so it looks like it's joined to here because of my stupid lids. You see? Yeah, I've got them now. Okay, so there we go, not perfect, not exactly even, but not bad at the same time. Now I'm just going to draw along the rest of my eyelid with this. So I'll try and get as close as I can here and then drag it up around there. Now I'm dragging it downwards. Do make a point. Be really careful on these bits. One little slight jog and you'll have to make it thicker or start again. So we're looking so far. so weird in my lips to come. Um, next I'll go in with a darker um, eyeshadow. So now I'm going to 
get my eye palette, my, <laughs> my makeup palette again. And I'm going to go in for a black this time. So in with a black. Make sure you blow. Don't want to mess this up. And then I'll go up into the crease again, looking to see where that line is. And then colour in around, filling in this bit slightly to get rid of the shine. And then I pull my eyes forward a bit and then I will dust this out. Not dust it out, blend it out. Is it blend it out? I don't know, I've never done a makeup tutorial like this before, so yes, we'll blend it out. I don't even I don't even watch many either. I like looking at pictures and then trying myself to, to do it, so um, and then blend this out. Oh yeah, I'm sorry I'm, I'm really bad at this. It's the first time I've done something like this, so normally I just sit there quietly. Not knowing what to do. Very nervous like that. I'm trying to be brave and speaking up. So yeah, just keep blending. Um, as you can see, it's all nicely coming together there. I'm coming close to 20 minutes now. So it normally takes me about half an hour in the morning. It depends what kind of look I'm going for. This is quite a, a basic, normal look for me. Um, I also like to sometimes put some um, leftover bits on the brush underneath just to give it a bit more of a a nice blend at the bottom under my lash. Right, now I've done all that. I wanted to try something but I don't know if I'm going to have time. I saved these little bat... Um, confetti pieces that I got with a um, mystery box so I wanted to try and use these as kind of a stencil to shadow out around my eye should I try it? should I try one? it's going to be too dark under my eye should I try one? or should I just stick them? because they're pretty right I'm going to do my eyebrows and then we're going to play with some bats okay Right, so eyebrows, I'm going to go and grab my pen real quickly. Back in a second. I'm back. Going to have a sip of water quickly. Right, so I just went and got my new one from downstairs. I love having new eyebrow pens, it makes it so smooth and nice. My eyebrows the last few days have been a bit messy. There's nothing so satisfying though as trying different eyebrows. I think this one's much, this one's much lower than the other one, is it? Is it? Guys, tell me, is it lower or higher? Because I just can't tell. It's lower. The fun with drawing your, eye, your own eyebrows is you can go as thick or as thin as you like. I like to go quite thick on my eyebrows because I think having thin eyebrows um, <laughs> so dodgy. doesn't doesn't um doesn't doesn't look that great on me. This one looks so much like that one starts there. That one needs to start down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and, and now figure out what I need to do to make these look level because at the moment I don't. it's a big fail guys come on right let's try and even these eyebrows out a bit so um 
I like to stick things to my forehead and also I love to draw on my forehead. I'm going to put a bat here as a guide because why not? And I love bats. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. So now hopefully I can use that as a guide to see how wonky donkey these eyebrows are. <laughs> so dodgy. Um, so yeah, they look at the right place here, and then this one seems to, I don't know. Right, I'm just going to make them fatter now, so. Yeah, this is a bit that takes me the longest in the morning. Looking a bit more like me now, right? If you are enjoying the video, please don't forget to subscribe. I love looking back at myself and watching myself concentrate so hard. Here we go, it's looking a bit better. Yeah, I think we're there. I think that would do. So. Um, so yeah, we can do anything now, now's the time for playing with things. Um, I'm going to put some lipstick on, I'll show you guys how I do my lipstick. Right, I do my lipstick in two different ways normally, normally I either work on my arches here on my lips so I make them higher on these parts, because I have very um, flat lips, so either I can draw these up higher it's so strange. I'm so used to seeing myself with lipstick. Um, I have quite a big um, bottom lip, so I like to make the top lip bigger. Yes, I'm not getting fillers because they look stupid. Well, on me they would look stupid because I got such a big nose. So let's. This is how I normally do it. I normally close my mouth and then tuck my lip inside. And then kind of scoop it around so it's, it's more like a rounded shape at the top and then I like to join it up colour in all around inside And then do the same the other side. Right, doing the bottom lip can be a bit tricky because I've got a lip ring, so I normally just slide it underneath.
there we go that's how i normally do my makeup and i am using a very cheap brand you can get on amazon i think this only costs like seven pound because i normally use killstar and i bought some when they were only a pound and when i went to buy one last week because i've gone out they were like 17.99 i was just like no i am not spending 17.99 on the on a lipstick ridiculous so if i was in a complete rush um i had to go pick up the kids from school quickly or you know i just wanted to get up and ready just to go somewhere and complete my makeup when i got somewhere else i'd probably leave it to leave it as like you know this because it's basic it's not too much um but like assemblies and um going to church with the kids because they go to a christian school so i'll just keep it very basic i'll still dress and do my makeup like this even my black lipstick I've done it before um but yeah, it's, this isn't normally the, ba the most basic I will go outside, apart from my eyebrows being wonky, wonky. <laughs> but you didn't see that, right? They're perfect. Okay, um, so let's move on to step two and make it look more like me. Right, so. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's do mascara. Um, I am using this blue one called 5D Whip Lift by Revolution. And um, I haven't really got on too well with this one. This is the one I normally use. Um, look how disgusting this is. This is old. Um, but yeah, I normally use um, whatever's on offer at the time. I just pick it up. Oh my God. God, did you see that? I just got mascara on my nose. Ugh. Don't worry, we can fix it. There we go, like it never happened. Shh. Right, and then I just go on very heavily, go over a few times that I have to do to make them more thicker. Let me get them bottom ones. as I've gotten older I always start with the top lashes before I move on to the bottom ones because I always get in a right mess if, do it, if I do it the other way around so yeah let's put some in the bottoms I want to play with some stuff now so i put some glue on here earlier i'm not sure it's going to still stick now but i like to stick things like this let's see if I, if I can see what i'm doing like this like this up onto my forehead i just use some eyelash glue i um cut the tops i use my dremel and i cut the little loops of the top of like necklaces and things like that just so I can stick them up onto my forehead and make me feel ultra posh. For some reason, having a big jewel on my forehead makes me feel really, um, really goth and really like, you know, posh kind of goth. And I love it with, when I'm wearing these kind of long sleeves and velvet clothes. I love wearing velvet. So yes, I normally stick things on me because I just enjoy it. too much and I'm gonna use I think I might put some what do you think of that is that a cute but you can't see them unless you really look close at them I think they're quite cute I'm gonna grab some more makeup back in a second I'm gonna contour my face now I think that's how you say it I'm really sorry I'm dyslexic guys I don't remember how to say some words. And then I just, um, I use this. So most, sometimes I use grey. Um, I like using this because I have brown eyes. So I 
and I can't really tell a lot of difference. When I use grey, sometimes it goes a bit, um, it, it just blends in a bit too much and makes it look like I'm almost a zombie. I don't want to look like a zombie, I want to look like a goth. So, um, yeah, I'm normally going with this. I get quite a lot on the brush and I just come, I suck my cheek in and then go like down from my, um, shaking my ear down and then sometimes swoop up as well. And then I find that gives me probably the best um, shape for my face. And then of course to go all the way right around the jawline because we want to make it look like we've got no double chins. And then I normally go up behind here as well in that little pocket area. And then up the side of my ear. Sorry, my ears are going red, someone's talking about me. And then I also go down my nose as well. So I like using this shape brush because I get the right angle I want and I just I just sweep it down without even doing much really. Down my nose bridge like this. Because my nose is huge. And I hate my nose. And that just gives it a bit more of a smaller size shape. Well, I think it does slightly. But when I first saw like people doing this to their noses, I laughed. I was like, how am I meant to hide my nose? You're having a laugh. And then a bit underneath. Okay. Getting there, getting there. Um, eyelashes, eyelashes. I haven't been doing lashes for very long and I find them very tricky. Hang on, when my um, mascara is still drying, I might put on some concealer. I think this one. Um, it's the same as the big bowl, I think. It's just a smaller bowl in a smaller pot. So I'll just dab that in here because this is where I look old into my wrinkles and then I'll just tap that in gently sometimes leave it for a few seconds after I've tapped it and then go back in see my face is looking a lot more um like a filter almost now and put a little bit on my chin and then just a little bit at the end of my nose I have to take these off for a second. Good job I didn't glue them down yet. Okay, now I'll just leave that to dry for a second. Yes, this is not how you're meant to do it, but this is the best way I found for my aging eyes to do it. I'll give that a couple of seconds while I put my lash glue on my lashes. See, I am allergic to um, nearly every single lash glue. I think I'm just allergic to um, latex altogether. So I managed to find this one, which somehow um, it's latex free. Um, it's the only one I can actually use on my eyelids. The rest just make my eyes swell right up. And then I can't wear makeup for like three days afterwards and I can't leave the house. So this one is really good. Right, so I, I use these lash glues now for about two weeks. I know it sounds disgusting, but I always strip back the glue that I left on it from the night before. And yeah, I've it's taken me years and years and years to learn how to put on eyelashes. Because... I don't know, I just couldn't figure out how to do it. So, um, there's lots of tricks, but they're very hard to learn and practice does make perfect. So, um, so when I get a lash, I put the glue on and then I kind of play with them for a little while. And I bend them round um, more. And then when I put them on, I used to try my hardest to close my eyes and do it. But now, 
I just look in the mirror and I lay them across where I want them to go and pray to the eyelash lords that is in the right place. And then I just push them down to make sure I can feel it on my skin. Because if it's not on your skin, it's going to fall off. And then keep pushing them down a bit until you can feel it laying on your skin across the whole of the lash. And it should be in the right place. Right, next one. Oh, I'm feeling so much better now I've got makeup on. Don't like talking to you guys about it on. So the same thing, I'm just put the glow on and now I'm just... Um, making it more of a, a, a C shape here and I don't know I just seem just works so much better when you go to lay it down so I'm then again laying it across my lash with my eyes open making sure I can feel the lash across the skin on my eyelid this one looks like it's a bit higher up at the end but that's fine and then I'm Push it to make sure it's across my skin and ta da we got lashes and then I'm going to carry on and blend this out under my eyes otherwise it dries too thick and I get lines. Oops. Don't mess up the eyelash. Okay. Okay, now it's playtime. Now I've done my main makeup if i was to go out maybe to the pub or just be goth in general i'd probably just wear it like this like for a posh night out um but I'm, I'm not posh i like to mess things up a bit i like i like to look completely different i like people to see that I'm crazy no, to just to, I just love to be different so but yes this probably is my finished look for for this um sometimes I come up with my concealer around my hairline a bit as well um and sometimes I go in with some powder but um most of the time you don't really need to so what do you guys think so I put my old baggies back one, two. So tell me what you guys think of my, I'd probably just stay there, of my makeup look. I'd love to know what you guys think. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking old. Um, I, I really want to do something else with my inner eyes. Let me just play with my new pen for a second. I'd love to know what you guys think of this look though. Um, would you wear your makeup like this? Are you going to give it a go? Let's make this pointy. That's better. The same. Anyway, yes. So I'm done. Um, thank you for um, sitting around with me why i did done my makeup today yeah so this is what you guys wanted so there you go enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video tomorrow when i don't know hopefully we'll do some more halloween things or something let me know what you guys want because i'm excited i can't wait to do videos so Thank you again for coming along and watching today's video. And don't forget, be weird, be yourself, and be different. Because otherwise, you are just boring. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.